So now we've got these three candidates. We have candidate A, candidate B, and candidate C. And all of them have really good resumes. All of them have more than 10 years experience. And all of them present to you like fantastic. They sit in the interview, they've got their best ideas, the best way they're gonna take your organization over the next five years to be the, you know, one of the largest in its field. And it's a very important job. But this person is gonna be a marketing manager. And so, let's have a look at this. So look at each scenario. So here's five years. And let's say up here, so this is time. Up here is the value of my organization. So I hire, after lots of interviewing and, and wrecking my brains and having meetings with my team and everything else, I decide to hire marketing manager A. He comes into the organization and we start off with our benchmark here of value. And this guy comes in and after five years, he actually, five, his marketing plan and strategy, five X's the value of my organization. Is this a good hiring? Yeah. yeah. Now if my organization started off being worth $1 million, how much money did this guy make for me? He made five times, is five million, he made $4 million for me, correct? or he improved the value for the shareholders by $4 million. So of course we can sit there and we can attribute all other reasons, he was lucky, this happened, blah, 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 but it's like ultimately the marketing manager, he, had the, he increased the amount of leads coming in by more than 15 times. That allowed the sales guys to be more effective. It's like he was the source of this, what happened. Let's look at scenario number two. I hire manager B. Very similar to manager A, but I like this guy more because he's got more experience and worked at larger companies. So I'll hire him. So he starts here, and by the end of the five years, it's like he doubles the company. So it makes me one mil extra in the value of my business. Of course, and some profit along the way. So it's not horrible. You know, most companies, they'd be happy to double over five years, wouldn't they? Now I look at this guy C. I hire this guy because I decided to hire him because he's amazing. You know, he looks sharp. He came in, even did PowerPoint presentations of what he was going to do with the company. You know, I ring his old boss, and his old boss tells me that this guy, man, he's one of the sharpest guys we ever had here, and we're really sorry to lose this guy. So I hire this guy, and five years later, it's like I don't have a company anymore. It's gone. Because what I did was I listened to this guy and I spent so much money on marketing that didn't work that I basically, I sent myself broke. So I'm a little bit upset too. So now I actually ring back five years later and I'm sitting in the gutter. I've got a paper bag with a bottle of wine in it. And I ring the guy, I ring his old boss. I go, you know, when I rang him, he said, this guy's sharp and he's really good. And it's like, but you know, he actually sent our company broke. I listened to this guy for three years thinking that he was the guru. His old boss says, yeah, well, I don't know. We didn't really get, you know, now you say it, we didn't get any results really either. He said, you know, we put him as a marketing manager, we paid him a big wage, but now I look at it, over that three years he was here, our, our sales dropped. But we just thought it was because of the global financial crisis, but he's a good guy. But look at the difference, right? Because not only between this selection, so this is a major decision and it could be just as major if you wanted to hire someone to put wheels on on a production line in a car manufacturer because if those wheels aren't put on properly and the wheel falls off, that could be just as devastating to the organization. But what we have, the difference here, is we had a company worth $1 million, probably making you know two to $300,000 profit or an area of a company now is back gone to zero. So now, over this period, this person has lost one to two million dollars and has no organization. And probably 
the management team or the owners lost all confidence in actually going out and doing it again. So now they go, you know what, I'm just going to run a small organisation do it myself. This guy comes in, he makes an extra four million on the capital value of the business, but also every year added a lot to profit. So over the period, this guy may have actually added seven million dollars to the shareholders. So now we have a difference, a nine million dollar decision on whether we hire A, B or C. And I can play this out for every job in every organisation. And it's like, you know, very rarely does it become less than a half a million dollar decision. So how you screen and how you choose people becomes one of the most important things you'll ever do in your organisation. And so use the performing evaluation system. Because the performing evaluation system, I can guarantee you, would only have chosen A would have straight away seen C probably before the person we even looked at the person's resume. In actual fact, I can only guarantee you that C wouldn't have applied for the job because of the way the, jobs are, the job ads are written. Okay, B would have been interesting, but A would just stand out so easily. So the person would apply, so this, that same day we go, I think we've found our person. So use the performing system. If you haven't used it, give it a try. I'm sure you've got A, B's and C's already in your organisation, so put them through the Performia system and let Performia can show you straight up, go, you know what, you should never hide this guy, this guy's interesting, but yeah, we can, you should always just find these guys. Really simple.